when it came out, did y'all see the instant success from it, or did it was it a gradual build up, or how did we that felt go? it? Like y'all seen the streets. You, you go somewhere, you gonna hear it for sure. What was your one off of that right now? If we can kind of go back, what was your favorite track off that? Uh, I'm gonna say Taylor May. Taylor May. Taylor May. If you buy it. Cause that was a solo song I had did. Everybody, did. everybody, we wasn't even all on that on the original song, but we all jumped on that for that for the for the album. Who was the original people on there? I think it, I want to say it was just me and Huss. I think it was. I know I wrote it at Huss House. I remember he had the we was playing the Brandy songs. That's a sample from a Brandy song. See back then everybody got y'all styles. Confused, you couldn't really tell. Couldn't tell. But then to it, you ain't know. Hey, like my favorite verse, such and such. Yeah, hey, like man, that ain't even him. That's really woo wop. <laughs> man, I don't know. I've just seen Eric right. You know, you read that's comments. I'm talking, huh? That's my fucking all the comments. Like, nigga, that ain't man, right. What was the chemistry dope. like in the studio? Because was y'all recording prior to this, or was this the first time? Yeah, because like Rob Lowe, you know, he um put a little light on Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe, man, come on, man. Boy, wonder that nigga genius. He was a young nigga. Had the keyboard, the microphones and shit. And he, he he knew how to lay them beats. He was real, I've really, he was really like do most shit for Jacka and Fetty. You know, cause I, you know, I was, I was with a different pack. You know what I'm saying? But you would hear the um when they do the little music and shit, and it'd be like, that's how I met Rob Lowe through 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 hearing music. But we all knew each other. It's a small town. I knew him through Pop Warner and shit. But came into the Rob Lowe by hearing his music, and going to the studio one day, and uh, he the signature sound man behind that shit. He used to if he was like Mackie he worked with us all individually. You know what I'm saying? Was he Mackie would, around back then? Mackie was like the town so small, bro. We was we all grew up like, you know what I'm saying? But um I don't think Mackie was around at that time. He came into the fraction a little bit later, probably like a year or two later. Like a year or two later. So uh most of production off of the first album, who was uh who was doing that? It was a few cats, shit. Um one drop Scott. Any Tone Capone? Tone Capone. I, I want to say Daryl and I want to say Daryl do a song. Yeah, Mike Mosley. I had all the. I know DJ Daryl, DJ Daryl. Um, Did Rob Lowe get to do anything off the first one? Yeah, that that song "If You Buying That uh, You Don't Know Me," hmm. that went on there, and I think he produced another one too. I ain't too sure. I'm quite sure he had more than one because we 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 wanted to make sure we got him on there. All right, so getting into that album, when did y'all really start seeing the success to where, you know, they were willing to fly y'all out? And right, people... instantly. First time I jumped on the plane was going to get some money about this shit. Off the album? Yeah. Instantly. Like... You remember the first show where you went? Out of state or just first out show? Out of state. Yeah, I think it was Portland. I think it was Portland. You booked the whole mob. Mm hmm Like then it would be, it'd be V Legit, Lil Bruce, uh, Sebo. I got a lot of this shit on documented. I see it, you know what I'm saying? Trying to put something together on some of our roads, so on, on being on the road. So what Juice. was that like going on, on the road? You nigga know, harm. Nigga. Yeah, what it was like being on the road. Yeah, man, shit. Um, As a young nigga, you ain't never, you know what I mean. That's, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's why I'm like, boy, just imagine it. Just you know, first put it like this. I, I like I said, I've been a fan of this shit. Like I'm a child of the music, bro, the gang. Every nigga that I done work with, or did a song with, or been around, had some kind of affiliation with, was on my wall at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? On a poster on the wall in my cassette deck. To, so, you know, rubbing elbows with these niggas actually being in the studio with them, them respecting my craft as well. 
So shit, yeah, that, that, it was beautiful, bro. I, I, the chance in a life, the once in a lifetime thing. Everybody don't get to do that. You know what I'm saying? Put your mind to something and really achieve it. One day you there. 